All right, welcome back to another Harmonious at Lunch. Brandon here from What If With You, and we're going to dive into the harmonious business architecture. We're going to disrupt the way you think about your business. I have a very cool guest with me today. His name is Ali Shah, and we are going to be talking about digital marketing, how to become a digital marketing expert. And just from talking to Ali backstage before the show, um, he's got some pretty disruptive things to say about running ads and becoming a digital expert for marketing your business, whether you're a new business, a seasoned entrepreneur, or somewhere in between, we're going to dive in. So Ali, welcome. Good to have you here. Okay. Thank you so much, Brendan. Welcome. And uh, thank you for inviting me in your podcast. Of course. No, super excited to have you here. Uh, joining us all the way from Pakistan, other side of the world, which is really, really cool. Um, so I'd love to dive in. I'll, let's get you up to speed if you're watching on the background. So Ali, you've been doing this for six years now. You you decided to transition careers, get into digital marketing. You took a course and you said, this isn't really right. Let's figure out the right way to do it. So over the last six years, give me the summary of what you've kind of discovered and what you bring your clients through in the world of digital marketing. Uh, yeah, as uh, I already mentioned in the start, I have get like uh, many problems. Even in first six months after completing my course, I have a huge uh, like uh, uh, huge struggle in the market. But uh, first, I bring my first client through Upwork. Like you know, Upwork is a huge uh, platform for uh, my, and there is a like a marketing service. Everyone wants marketing service. Do you know that this in the present time marketing job is one of the highest paying job in the world? Like because in the company, uh, like uh, everyone want result in the company. If you are giving them good uh, sales, you have the, the value in your company. You, you are most important for your company. So the main thing is that uh, I already mentioned uh, is that uh we can use paid method for bringing clients to our business for sales if whatever you are selling or whatever you are providing like you are selling a product you are selling courses or whatever you are selling so in my uh, six year experience for the current market uh, I am giving you some tips that uh, like you should target Google ads instead of Facebook ads, especially when you are targeting the market in United States, Canada. In this market, you will get better result on Google ads as compared to Facebook because it is like uh, very difficult to find a genuine client on Facebook in the current market when the iPhone user are very high. So Facebook cannot track their data as compared to 2015-16. We are getting very good result through uh, Facebook. But now uh, my suggestion is that every marketer or everyone need to shift to Google Ads as compared to Facebook. Yeah, that's really interesting. And honestly, I, I haven't heard that from a lot of people. So um, I'm wondering how how prevalent this information is to other entrepreneurs in the marketplace. Everyone says go on Facebook ads, uh, Instagram ads, like be on social media, even TikTok ads. And you're saying, um, you know, that's important still, but you should place a, a bigger emphasis on being on Google. Now, Personally, from my experience, I have only explored Google ads and I'm no expert and I wasted a lot of money. What are some what are some tips for someone just getting started if they want to go the do it yourself route to get started on Google ads? Uh, do you have, you have some, sorry, some do's and don'ts? Uh, Brendan, I just want to add one more thing uh, yeah, about the Facebook and Google ads different. Mm -hmm. uh, one more thing I want to add here that uh, first of all, it's depend on your business as well. Okay because when you are like if you are doing a very small business then google ad is not for you because for google ads you need a huge amount of budget even for current market my suggestion is that like only for testing you need at least four to five thousand us dollar for testing ads for google ads if I am talking about Google ads, 
but as compared to facebook because uh, on facebook you can get result very fast like if you run campaign today uh, i hope you can get sales even you are not expert as well in upcoming two or three days you will start getting result and you will start getting your sales but google ads is a very like you can say a very different platform as compared to facebook because on google first of all most important thing is that on facebook your ads are showing to everyone even in the current market if you are targeting the right audience for example you are selling a camera let's suppose you are selling a camera and you are targeting the people who are interested in photography and there is no there is like you can say only 10 to 20 percent chances your ad will be showing to the people who are interested in photography like these other 80 percent people are like useless they are not interested to buy something i am talking about the facebook but on google there is like you know uh, let's suppose i am talking about search ads like if somebody go on google and search that uh, like gopro so you can see that the this client is a like this client is a genuine client because they are searching about a very targeted product so when uh, like on the search ad we have top four ad at the first page of google top and to add on the bottom of the page so in top four when you are come so you can get a very good result but how you can come to the google top four ads this is very important thing uh, because uh, everyone asking me ali how i can come to the top four at the google ads there are like three or four main things which i want to mention other thing also but the four three or four are very important first of all is your budget because google ads is totally auction based it's work on auction based plus it works on quality like let's suppose you are selling shoes and nike is also selling the shoes and 10 people are coming and click on your ads and let's suppose two or three people are buy this shoes and second ad is nike 10 people are clicking there and they are not buying the shoes so google automatically top your ads even nike are saying to the google if brandon is paying 100 and nike is saying i will pay 120 dollar but my ad will be top but google is not accepting this because ad relevancy is one of the most important factor in google ads so your ad must be related what you are selling this is very important so now like uh, you tell me that uh, you ask me also that how someone get uh, like result fast right you also ask me that yeah, well, they, uh, like if they, some they need to get started really like if uh, like uh, if a new person is starting today digital marketing right first of all uh, like uh, if there are two factor uh, you are talking about if someone completed her course after this uh, he come to the field or how a new person can start digital marketing so let's take it from this perspective of it, it's an existing business they sell a product or a service and they want to they've never advertised facebook or google no no paid advertising what is what is that person need to keep in mind you already mentioned budget so that's super important um what else do they need to keep in mind when they're getting started in in the world of paid advertising to not lose all their money um but have a good strategy going into it yeah important thing is that uh, first of all they need a budget they need a budget for advertisement mm -hmm. second thing is that if they don't know the marketing and marketing strategy i think 
through try you cannot do because first you need to learn it's very important even if you are new you can test like uh, if somebody say that i have command on this let's suppose if somebody say i can do this only you have to do you need to try at least 50 dollar or 100 dollar campaign for one week on google and on facebook on instagram all all platform you just need to spend at least hundred dollar on google hundred dollar on facebook and instagram you just need to run a test campaign mm -hmm. and in this test campaign the most important thing is how you can target your client you need to work on targeted keywords you need to work on your audience relevancy because this two thing can give you a huge success in your this short ads okay first you are targeted keywords second your ad relevancy so you need to create a very attractive ads and in this short ads you have to explain very clearly that what you are selling what you are or what is your course this ad must be at least 30 to 35 seconds under mostly ads you can see the world biggest companies like you can talk about godaddy ads will be only 15 seconds even other big company ad you can see less than 20 minute 25 minute because in this busy world time are very less to everyone no one watch your ad so the first thing is your ad will be very related to your product or course second thing is how you can target the audience because targeting audience is very important so you have to find the targeted keywords i already mentioned that let's suppose if you are selling a camera you need and first you need to think who are interested to buy the camera photographer are interested to buy the camera video like uh, people vloggers are interested to buying the cameras and the people who are love to travel travelers want to buy the camera so like i can say if you are selling the camera you can target the videographer photographer traveler vlogger so this will be your targeted keywords if you are selling a camera so this uh, every new marketer need to keep in mind all these tips for getting a success in the other hand like if a new marketer come and want to try ads through google ads there will be a different strategy because on google ads like there are many types of ad you can see that on youtube in youtube you have also like side uh, wise ad you have bumper ads you have skippable ads and you have search ads on google you have ads on article so there is like many other so uh, i cannot suggest for a new person to try on google because for a google it's very important first you need to learn you need to learn it's important for a new uh, marketer uh, he she cannot know that what i can do because there are many functions many things but on facebook they can try yeah this is great and so many helpful tips here especially for people getting into digital advertising and, and paid marketing for the first time. So I want to tie this back to the Harmonies architecture. I'll do that in a minute. But first, um, I want to let people know where to find you. So you said your business was on Upwork. Is that the only place that you are? Where, where can people reach out and, and get your help on their paid advertising? Uh, right now, I don't have Upwork. I have Upwork, but uh, I am the owner of creatorspanda.com. Okay. This is my uh, business website. And right now, like uh, I have done at least 500 plus clients in the past six years. And all these are big clients, like they are realtor, they are a company owner, they are entrepreneur. Mostly I have worked for female entrepreneur. They're selling their courses. So everyone can contact me through uh, creatorspanda.com. And uh, you can also, I will send you the link and you can mention in the screen as well, my website link. So everyone can contact me through this. Perfect. Yeah. I was going to say, we'll put that in the show notes or the comments, wherever you're watching this, 
Um, so his website will be down there. You could you could reach out and inquire about your paid advertising strategy. So let's wrap this up. Uh, I have one last question for you. Then I want to tie this to the harmonious architecture. And that is, I know my answer, but would you recommend for someone who's just getting into this to try to do it on their own or to reach out to someone like you who can help them get results fast? Can you ask me again, please? What do you recommend for someone just getting started out with paid advertising? You, you recommend they try it on their own first or they start with someone like you who can really help them supercharge their results? Uh, if they contact with us, uh, this will be better if they are interested for a long term business. If they want like grow their business to very higher level, then they can contact us. But if they are just like uh, uh, want to do a little bit, they can try by their self. As I already mentioned that what strategy they are use, what uh, what keyword they are can use. So they, but if they want a, to set up a huge business for a long term, for they needed many clients, they can contact with me. Yeah, that's awesome. That's my vote too, personally. Reach out to Ali Shah. Again, his link is in the in the show notes here on the bottom. Um, but yeah, if you want to do it, do it right and and pay someone who knows what they're doing. So Ali Shah, thank you again, joining us from all the way from Pakistan. Thanks for joining us on this episode. So let's tie this real quick to the harmonious architecture, and then we will sign off for this episode. But when we came into this, the title of it is how to become a digital marketing expert. You would think that we're talking about marketing, which at what if we call ubiquity, and that is being where your customers are and being relevant, present everywhere that they are online. Well, what I heard from this episode was a lot of also analyze. You have to understand your marketing metrics, your risk assessment and defense, where we typically put things like finance. You have to understand your budget. And most importantly, you have to understand in the navigate section of your business, who your customer is, what your company mission is, your core values, so that you can put in put out in the world a marketing message that resonates with your clients and doesn't cause dissonance with your company message. You can't just be selling all things to all people online. You have to have a strategy and you have to understand what you're doing with that strategy. Now, before you're going to reach out to someone like, like Ali Shah here and you, or a, a, whatever company you're going to work with to create your digital marketing strategy, you want to make sure you have all that in place. It's going to make his job a million times easier if he has all of this information to work with rather than trying to pull it out of you or if you go the route of working with someone less professional than him, hopefully you don't, but they might, might not even know to ask you those questions. So start with the basics, start with the foundation of the architecture, get your navigation in place for your business, get your budget in place, and also your mission and vision for your company, where you want your marketing to take you. This has been a fantastic episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Ali Shah, thank you again for joining us. We're going to sign off here and we will see you next time. Thank you so much.